What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Soup Time. I'm your host, JG Quintel. Two cassette... Fuck off, stop calling me now. Two rap J-card cassette album covers in the same week? This is insanity. I definitely did not plan to have this come out weeks before Brockhampton released their new songs or anything like that. You know, crazy how things happen. I got my new mic. Not my new mic. Uh, someone's let me borrow it. Uh, Crime Dog. Shout out, Crime Dog. Thank you so much for letting me borrow it. It is a... What kind of mic is this? I think it's a blue. A Yeti. I think it's a Yeti mic, actually. So we're going to be using this in the meantime while I wait on the replacement part. But thank you so much, Crime Dog. Shout out, Crime Dog. Now, about now is when I do the artist background. But, you know, I don't have... I. I really don't think that I have nearly as much clout as is necessary to do, you know, to give these to give these incredible artists clipping the, the respect that they deserve. So I've found someone who has some of the most clout I've ever witnessed in the hip hop community and is one of the world's biggest clipping fans ever, Luke On Demand. So Luke, can you please take it away? Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. My name's Luke, and just like Jake said, I am in fact the number one clipping fan ever. I know a lot of you won't believe me, but to prove it to you, I even got one of their albums on vinyl. F All right, you guys called me out my bluff. I'm not actually the number one biggest clipping fan. If I had to guess, I'm probably in the 10,000s area. It's not that I don't like their music, because I do. It's just that I feel like I haven't given it the time to appreciate it. But I'm still going to talk about it because I know everything about them. That's the thing about us music channels. We don't actually know what we're talking about, but we try to sound really smart. Clipping is an experimental hip-hop trio based in Los Angeles, California, and the group consists of vocal and lyricists The B. Diggs and producers William Hudson and Jonathan Snipes. So far, Clipping has released four major projects, Mid-City, their self-titled project, Splendor and Misery, and there existed an addiction to blood. But the EP we're going to look at today is the Wriggle EP. Before this video, I've never actually heard this EP, so here's my first listen review. There's some accessible parts here or there, but it still keeps that experimental nature that everyone knows about Clipping. I'd say if you're gonna get into clipping, this is one of the first projects you should listen to. Other than that, I don't really have much else to, to say. Guys, I've been stuck in Jake's house for months now. He hasn't even fed me anything. I haven't even listened to the new Drake album, bro. I, I need to get out of here. The address is... 1234 Street Street. All right, that's enough of that. Clipping is like Death Grip's light to me. They have uh, some elements of experimentalness. You know, they don't, always, they don't always capitalize on it, I feel. I feel like they could be a bit weirder, you know? If you watch one of my old album reviews video, I'm pl plugging that shit nice and, nice and good right here. Uh, I did not, I was not too big a fan of Wriggle. The one, the title track I really enjoyed, but everything else was just kind of, eh, you know? It was experimental, but not like good experimental. Just cause, just cause it's experimental does not mean you're gonna like it. Anthony Fantano, but another J card, which, you know, I think I enjoy this way more than the Brockhampton video that I made last time. This is way cooler because I love the like construction paper cutout. It looks, it's sick and everything ah, it just looks so good. Oh God. Not only is it one of the, my favorite thumbnails I've ever made. So sh shout out to, shout out to me for making my thumbnails. But one of my favorite covers I've ever done. So without further ado, I'm hyping this shit up way too much. Let's get into it. So first what I did was I tried to find the proper background for it. And I couldn't really find a, you know, template overlay, just like basic J card without stuff written on it. So I found this like blank VHS cover kind of thing. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but it, it worked. It was pretty, pretty effective at doing the job. I sized it accordingly to how I wanted it to look. And then I adjust the brightness, the contrast to make it a little darker. I would go to gradient map to turn all the whites into reds, but think that this is a little too much after, and I change it back. But now this is this is one of my favorite parts of uh, doing the construction cutout. I love construction cutout. It's a great. Not only is it, it's not because I'm lazy, but it makes it very easy. <laughs> so I think it's pretty cool doing the construction cutout. But it's it's super easy. You don't have to be like, you don't even have to be exact. You just clip wherever you want and then i did that for the front cover i did it for the side information and then i did it for the back and the one on the bottom which is the the rarity number which is kind of cool and then i started adding the font i found a typewriter like a basic typewriter font which is perfect for this so i used that and then i made sure that the font was in bold so i bolded it i duplicated the font layer i changed it to a you know a regular rasterized layer 
And then what I did was I did a stroke of one in the exact same color. And it gives off a fantastic, like a perfect grimy effect. Exactly what I was looking for. So proud that I learned how to do this. The spine of the J card has a slightly different font. You know, it's not, you don't have to be exact with it, but I found this font that works very well. I typed in, you know, the classic bucket, the trademarks, you know, it's from me. I stretched it a little bit so it fit exactly. You don't have to make it fit exactly, but I made it fit the exact. I made it fit exactly because I like some proportions. I put the information on the back of the J card. That, uh, fun fact, that's my, uh, fake address if I ever get pulled over by the police and they ask me where I live. 1234 Street Street, USA. Baby. Scaled it a little bit. Did the same thing before. Duplicate the layer. Rasterize it. Stroke one. Looks awesome for grime. And then zoomed in, came down to the bottom, and I did the out of 100, which means it's super rare. This is a super rare cover, bro. Same thing with the font. Duplicate rasterize stroke and then i wanted to give it like a marker look so i literally just made a gold color sharpie ish and i just painted literally just the word just the numbers and i think it worked out really good it looks like it really looks like just like silver sharpie marker which is exactly what i was going for we're almost done see this is where i changed it back because i didn't like the i don't like the all red so I found a picture of a hand that I think is very fantastic that I took. I took this picture, so shout out me. Threshold, I threshold the images, changed it the settings to where I wanted it, made a color overlay, changed it to black, put it inside of the clipping mask so that it was the right size. And then I brought in my new favorite tool, the matchbox overlay, and then I put the clipping mask over the red parts, and I changed it to linear light and brought down the opacity a little bit so you could still see the red, and then adjust some brightness and contrast. and. You're, you're pretty much done, baby. That's a that's clipping wriggle for you. So you really think Yeezus deserved a five? Well, I mean, my opinion is kind of controversial, but... Wow, that's a very interesting and controversial take, Luke. I didn't even finish what I was gonna... Yeah, man, I totally agree with what you just said. I don't think... Are, are you doing this on purpose? Yeah, man, 100 Gex and Blade should totally have a rap battle. You aren't even... You aren't even gonna let me answer, you are know you? know that Jay Electrona actually broke up a marriage? This All right, screw wild. this. I'm oh. out of here. How rude. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Luke On Demand for being a true fucking sport dealing with me and my and my shit. I appreciate it so much. I was I found his videos a while back. He makes really good like edutainment, like sketch comedy about hip hop and music and stuff like that. And I I fell in love with it. Found him on the JPEG Mafia subreddit. So shout out to Peggy, bro. He's a great entertainer. He's definitely gonna blow up and I'm extremely happy that I snagged him now so that I can say that I was one of his first collaborations before he hit 100,000 subs. So good on me, I guess. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite uh, album cover tutorials I've done. I just everything, the aesthetic, uh, the, the help from Luke. It just it it was all just so perfect, uh, and I did have some technical difficulties before. Uh huh. Brockhampton pun. But with all things considered, uh, this is I really enjoy this video. So thank you for watching. I hope that uh, hope this microphone is not too bad because, bro, I really got used to my uh, uh I usually record on an Audio Technica AT twenty twenty. So you know, not a not a drastic shift, but you know something I gotta get used to. Like this is on my table now. Like it's a little a little weird, but. You know, not not too weird. But again, thank you to Luke. Thank you for everyone who's commenting. And uh, the next video is going to be the winner of the poll. I'm recording this a little early, so I'm going to give it a couple more hours and see. I'll put the poll up here. You can vote on it and tell me what you want to see next. But right now, I think House of Balloons is comfortably in the lead. I'm rambling. So shout out Crime Dog. Thank you for letting me use the mic. Thank you, a bit huge thank you to Luke On Demand for doing this collaboration with me. And if you want to see a collaboration with me on Luke's channel, you can go pop over there. The video will be at the end card. And yeah, if everyone is uh, watching their Family Guy Funny Moments compilation, and you know everyone's washing their hands and staying inside, I think you guys are good to go. Thank you, and have a pleasant day.